Hey guys, I hope you are so well. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little spotlight on a piece that's been in my wardrobe for years and years and years and I thought I would answer all your questions about All Saints leather jackets. I've done these videos on Gucci belts, Burberry scarves, Stuart Wiseman boots and I think another hero piece, an investment piece for your wardrobe, like a lifelong piece, is a good leather jacket. So I'm just going to talk you through the leather jackets, why I think they're the best and then I'm also going to show you different ways to style them. So if you were thinking about making a splurge on a leather jacket then hopefully this will help you and answer any questions you may have. So first things first, there are lots of different types of jackets from All Saints. I've pretty much tried them all so I actually used to work at All Saints years and years and years ago. I've never been gifted a jacket, all of the jackets have been bought with my own money and I was always an All Saints fan before I got a job there. I started working out when I was 16 and we used to have regular kind of training nights where we'd learn about the jackets and stuff and even back then in maybe like 2012 people were obsessed oh one's falling down people were obsessed with all things leather jackets and it was the kind of thing where like on boxing day everyone would run in and get the leather jackets now all things tend to have sales on most of the time i feel like because the high street is suffering there's always sales online so you don't even need to go into store and buy one i actually buy all of mine online and at the moment of making this video they have an extra 20 percent off sale so what i'll do is i'll link that below and link all the jackets i mentioned below and keep an eye out for black friday and stuff i'll be keeping you updated with offers because i would say just hang on and get them when they're reduced so let's start with my absolute holy grail the first all saints jacket i ever bought myself um, me and my boyfriend actually have a matching one um that wasn't planned so i bought this leather jacket i want to say in 2012 and it is still in prime condition in my opinion all saints leather jackets get better with time and i do think a good leather jacket gets better with time the more you wear it the more loved it gets and the nicer it looks the more kind of vintage it looks and it has not lost its quality honestly it still looks phenomenal and i have had so much wear out of it it's such a perfect wardrobe piece that will keep you warm because it's very insulated it has really nice kind of thick texture here which i love and it's black so it goes with absolutely everything i used to always think that leather jackets were pointless because they wouldn't keep you warm but if you put a chunky jumper under it it definitely keeps you warm and a nice scarf because it's an expensive leather jacket so it is really nicely insulated i just love the detailing on the sleeves and i love that you can open the zips if you are going to be wearing like a chunky jacket honestly you can wear it with anything whether it's a skirt whether it's over a dress on a night out or whether it's with jeans i tend to like to wear it with like an all black outfit although i seem to have lost my favorite pair of black jeans so i'm showing you this with black leggings today to show you what it looks like with an all black look but basically anything goes with a leather jacket and i think a black leather jacket just adds a really nice touch to any outfit it's such a smart leather jacket and i feel like every time i see someone wearing an all saints leather jacket i'm like i can tell that's a high quality jacket so yeah this one just fits perfect i sized up in this i got a size eight in this because actually i wanted it i know that it was going to stretch a tiny bit so always bear that in mind but it doesn't stretch too much so it's perfect for me because i can still wear my chunky jumpers and stuff under it to be honest i could have probably got a 10 and then fitted even more under it but yeah this is just like molded to my body perfectly and i would highly recommend i just love it so much and you can match with your boyfriend next up i bought this one i actually share this with my mom because i love it so much but i tend to wear my black one more and my mom was like you know what can i have an all saints jacket so i said we could borrow this one this one's slightly thinner but only because it doesn't have the detailing on the arms this one's kind of more of like a chunky one um but this one is gorgeous i actually think this is such a dainty leather jacket rather than it being kind of like a hardcore biker jacket this is such a nice dainty leather jacket and i absolutely love their neutral colored jackets they do some in suede as well which are insane it's kind of the same jacket but in like a nude suede color again i'll link it below and i just think this is so flattering i actually wear this with like a white jumper dress underneath and i think the colors work so well so if you're more of a neutral girl or maybe like me <laughs> you want to both here i am being like it's such a good investment and then i went and bought two i always do this I'm not saying you guys need to do that i just like to switch them between black and nude and i just think this is so nice so again i got this one in a size uk 8 and it fits absolutely perfect it fits my mum as well perfectly i love the zip detailing i'm actually more of a gold lover but with All Saints, I mean, they're silver and they look great. Their hardware is so good. My boyfriend owns a fashion brand and uses Riri zippers. And I know that we were looking at All Saints jackets when he was creating his fashion brand. And we were saying that the zips are just so good. So there's really been no expense spared on making it. I mean, with this one, it probably needs cleaning more than the black one. Um, we haven't had to clean it yet, but it obviously we'll get more marks on it. But I would just say it's such a gorgeous 
easy to wear leather jacket and again these kind of colors tend to go in the sale more than blacks so if you are happy to have a neutral color it's your time baby next up i recently ordered the balfern jacket in the sale because i wanted to see what the difference was between the balfern and this one and i'm gonna say honestly they pretty much look identical so you can imagine that this one is what the Balfour looks like on. The Balfour is All Saints absolute best selling leather jacket, which is why I wanted to talk about it. And I would say it's more like this one because it's kind of thinner, but it's still gonna keep you warm, but it means it is a bit more slim fitting with it being a bit thinner. This one is nice and chunky. This one is nice and slim fitting and really kind of hugs the body, but it keeps you feeling so nice and insulated. I know that this one does, even though it's not as thick as the other one. Um, and I just say that it's kind of like a second skin. It, sits so nicely on the body and I'm talking from experience with this one because I pretty much think they're the same jacket and as with all All Saints jackets I just absolutely love that the collar kind of just sits like this I think it's a really nice touch to be honest most All Saints jackets are pretty much very similar um you kind of go for the slimline one or the chunky one and I just love the leather it's so soft if you could feel this you'd see what I mean but Balfour's always do go into the sale as well so I will link that below so usually All Saints jackets cost let me tell you £318 around and I've seen them in the sale from between £150 and £200 so I would say that is a really good price to get an All Saints leather jacket um, but yeah there's a reason that the Balfour is a bestseller I guess it just sits so nicely it's not too chunky it's very flattering and obviously like I say these jackets are future proof if you spend £300 and you do the cost per wear of that it's technically free because honestly like i said i've had mine since 2012. last but certainly not least dun 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 i wanted to show you guys how beautiful the kind of burgundy color jackets are we used to call them oxblood when i worked at all saints i don't know if that's still a thing i'm actually a real sucker for a red jacket they're so 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 nice and i think it's a little bit different than the black sometimes i find that a black leather jacket can look quite harsh on me depending on what look i'm going for which is why i love the neutral one so much but this is just a perfect kind of blend of the two i mean not that you get this color if you blend those two colors together but you know what i mean I love Oxford, I've always loved it, and when I worked in All Saints, Oxford was one of our best sellers. Everyone would want to buy the Oxford. Again, this one just has a little bit of detailing here. You've got the little poppers, and it's a nice slim fit jacket, and they all have the little zips so that you can fit more bit more room in but what I'd say about all of these leather jackets is that they are all so soft and I guess it's up to you to decide if you want the chunky one I mean you've seen me styling it throughout this video so you'll know what kind of look you go for this is more padded more insulated and they have loads like this or if you want more of the Balfour really still nice and warm but kind of more slim fitting one so it's completely up to you what i would say is leave me a comment below let me know if there are any more questions about the all saints jacket but my rule of thumb is definitely size up in them so i first tried a size six and it fit me perfectly but then i realized it's probably best that i get a size eight so that i can actually fit jumpers on them and i do find that they're kind of not that cropped but i'm only around five foot three five foot four and when I wear a jumper under them, they come up a little bit more cropped. So I would always say to size up even for that as well. So hopefully that helps you guys. Everything will be linked below. Do not forget to make sure you get this in the sale. I'll link my Black Friday blog post below when that's ready. And I'll also link all details of the All Saints jacket below. The website is really, really good. You get free returns. Again, this isn't sponsored. I wish it was, um, but I am a customer of All Saints and have been buying from their website for years and it's so quick. So... There we go guys, hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Don't forget to say hi on Instagram and Twitter at mshellx and if you made it this far comment below and let me know if you have a leather jacket and if you think it's an absolute wardrobe essential that will last you forever.